Hello and welcome to Sundays in Song. This Sunday marks the first Sunday of Advent, the beginning of the new liturgical year in the Christian Church. Advent is a time of expectation, preparation, and awakening. In this first week of Advent, we focus our music on the aspect of expectation, aided in particular by the music of Johann Sebastian Bach. Our service opens with a chorale prelude, an organ work that elaborates upon a chorale tune. The chorale tune in question here is Nun komm der Heiden Heiland, or Savior of the Nations Come. We'll sing this hymn together later in the service as well. In this chorale prelude, we hear an ornamented version of the hymn. In fact, Bach is ornamenting the chorale with itself. He has taken the shape of the opening melody, shrunk it, and used it as a figure to ornament the tune. Here, the motive spills over into the other voices, permeating the musical texture. Bach also uses an interesting rhetorical figure in the closing of this chorale prelude. Suddenly, all motion clears away except for one single pedal note. This seems to highlight the text of the chorale. At this moment in each of the chorale's three stanzas, something special is happening. In the first verse, the world is amazed by the birth of God into the world. And in the last verse, virtue shines from God's throne. But it is perhaps the second verse that is most embodied by this musical idea, in which God's word blooms as the fruit of woman's body, as following this sudden drop in the petal, we have a blooming of lines above. rhetorical work continues at the offertory when the choir offers an excerpt from his motet Kom Jesu Kom, or translated Come Jesus Come. The motet is filled with musical symbology from the three opening cries to the musical illustrations of Der Saure Weg or the sour and sinful path that the poet wishes to turn away from. You'll hear snippets of this motet throughout the liturgical year as the choir pr prepares to perform it on the 2019 Baltimore Bach Marathon. In the midst of the service are two works which respond to the gospel reading of the day, which includes Jesus' statement, there will be signs in the sun the moon and the stars, and on the earth distress among nations confused by the roaring of the sea and waves. The musical reflection upon this at the communion is the spiritual, My Lord, What a Morning, which meditates on the moment when the stars begin to fall. Following this is a star hymn, Conditor Alme Sideru, or Creator of the Stars of Night. We'll also hear a version of this hymn filtered through the organ on the last Sunday of Advent. Our service this week ends with another setting of Nun komm der Heiden Heiland by J.S. Bach. This time, the treatment is grand rather than introspective. Here, Bach has woven a fugue, a process of imitative counterpoint, over a stretched out statement of the chorale tune 
in the bass. We hope you'll join us this week to begin your journey through Advent. Amidst the darkening world, Advent is an illuminative time, and we hope the music we offer helps your experience. For Sundays in Song, I'm Douglas Buchanan, and I look forward to singing with you.